out there. Hey, Queen Mother. All right, you guys. So, y'all see what I'm getting ready to do over here for you guys. So, y'all bear with me. I tried to get set up as much as possible. And I'm hoping that I will be able to chime in with you guys on my other gadget over here. But I want to say thank you for joining me. I see you growing with Jay. Hey, family. How are you? Thank you guys so much. So, I won't be able to see you guys from back there. <laughs> so, again, you guys just bear with me. I will try to chime in on my other gadget over here. And I hope you guys are hearing me well. Hello, 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 Sopery. Hello, beloved. Thank you for joining in. Thank you. And um, what I'll do is, hold on, you guys. I will just give you guys a breakdown and give um, the family some more time to come in. Thank you for joining me. Um, hey, Diva. <laughs> <laughs> yes you're right on time thank you for joining me linda thank you thank you my love thank you thank you so much for joining me okay so um most of you guys that are familiar with me y'all know essie loves the craft and um i think two years back i did some portland cement pots which i did a video on those as well so i just wanted to bring you guys up to speed with um portland cement uh flower pots now you want to practice safety. I don't want to tell you I don't be out here with gloves on your hands and glasses on your face and things of that nature. I'm usually a hands-on person. I like to feel things. Um, so what you're going to need for this project is some water, some Portland cement. Um, these packages, this is a 47 pound package. So I just want to warn you guys that these are super duper heavy. Heavy. I don't go in loads just doing these and picking these up by myself. My sons usually bring these out for me and pick them up. But these are super duper heavy. So I won't be moving this around as much. But I want you guys to see how the process is. And you, what you're going to also need is some play sand. You can find play sand at um, Lowe's and Home Depot as well simple simple things now you can use just about anything around your house to create a flower pot and i mean anything you can make a cement pot out of your boot your shoe your jeans your shirts whatever just anything it's like really really endless and it's so much fun to do you want to use um you can use any type of fabric hello hello thank you for joining me you want to use uh i would say dingy fabrics if, if they're not dingy and they still good and you just want to use them to create something, that's fine too. You can use um, wool, cotton, polyester, um, towels. You can use pretty much any type of fabric you want to create a beautiful Portland cement draped flower pot. Um, so what, you, what you're going to need is a bucket to mix up your... Um, your cement and your sand and i want to explain the sand actually helps to toughen up your pot when i did my first set of pots i did not use no sand you guys i use if i'm not mistaken i didn't use no sand i use my sand for something else but that helps strengthens your pot if you just use cement that's fine as well and again i re i recommend using these like over a co co covered porch or a covered um deck and um and again, you can use just about anything to create a beautiful pot. So, let's get started. Let's see who else is in here. Did I did I miss anybody? If I missed you guys, I am so sorry. But I, I want to say thank you. And also, I want to get this done for you guys. Because again, my mom was telling y'all, our weather has been so funny. And yesterday, my mom was telling y'all about them, that um, rain that's been trying to come. Well, it came last night. And we had power outage for about three hours and it's supposed to come through again but it's it's weird it's weird how it's raining and how the clouds is moving in it's very strange yesterday so um i want to get this done for you guys before i get another downpour of rain and i may have to bring these inside but if if not what i'll try to do is cut up some um construction black bags to cover them up so that they can dry thoroughly so i could get them ready for the next day of the um spray painting 
and that's another thing you guys will need so you will need water cement sandpaper and uh, your choice of color spray paint to make them look really really beautiful yes yes we didn't get a lot of rain for this spring and whatever little gadgets you want to use around your house as a mold and also plastic bags all right family oh and in um plastic gloves as you if you don't like to get all in there with with the cement and stuff like that use some flat uh rubber gloves so let's get started you guys and let's see i think you guys can see me pretty good i might need to back up just a little bit just a little bit and I hope you guys is hearing me okay. And what I'm going to do is get over here and see if I can chime in with you guys on my other gadget. Alright, let's see what we're working with over here, you guys. Okay, family, so when it comes to... Hold on, I feel like I'm missing something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. See? Hold on, you guys. Bear with me. All right, you guys. So, um, I'm missing my measuring cup, even though y'all know Essie is not big on measurements. So, let me get one of these, um, one of these little flower pot container things. And bear with me, you guys. All right, you guys, I'm back. Okay, you guys, so there is no, I don't do all that measuring. I just go by eye and the way it looks, how it feels. So I'm doing approximately, I would say I'm gonna do about eight cups of cement because I wanna do one, two, three projects for you guys. So as you begin to learn how to do this, you will, you will get your consistency the way it's supposed to be and you're looking for a very creamy texture to where you know your fabric is going to soak up that cement. And it's almost like you're looking for a texture like cake. Like when you're mixing cake, you want to look for that type of texture. And I'll try to come in a little bit closer or try to move this heavy old bag right here. And... Let me come over here and I'm going to get just a little bit of sand out of my bag. And they say do equal parts. So if you do eight cups of um, cement, you want to do like eight cups of sand too. Like I said, I don't really measure. I just go by the way it feels. And if anything, you want more uh, cement. To me, you want more cement than you want um, sand. And I'm going to put a little bit more. And then I'm going to mix it up. And I do have my gloves over here because I want to, I really want to um, get real down in there. And then I will bring it closer so you guys can see the texture and I'm gonna move this bag too. I'm gonna slide that over. But those bags are very, very heavy. The cement, the sand is super heavy. And I'm hoping it stay just like this, you guys, because it is muggy out here. And again, you're looking for that cake consistency. You know how when you bake a cake and you mix it, that's what you're looking for because you want your fabric to be able to absorb um, the cement and the sand mixture. And see, I'm about to get in here because I ain't going to be fooling around with this stirring and stuff. And a good thing too, if you have like an old um, 
mixer or you do concrete work and you know how the contractors mix up they um what's the name with a mixer and they attach that long attachment um thing you could do that as well And if you want to, you can always start slow as far as mixing everything up. But like I said, I'm about to get in here with my hands. I ain't going to keep staring because that stuff is thick. So if you don't have a problem, get in there with your hands with some gloves. You can use regular um, surgical gloves or you can get the heavy-duty gloves at like um, Family Dollar or Dollar General or even Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove this real quick. Let's sit that right over there. Yeah, this is much better. Let me see if I can see any of you guys. If you are new, thank you for chiming in, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. That's what you want to do guys you want to get this stuff mixed in really really good and it's doing what i want it to do have fun with it i had some other ideas on how to make some other pots but i'll probably do that when it starts to cl uh, cool down again probably come september Cause like I said, when you're doing cement projects, it's almost like you do, you're working with um, clay, pottery. And you could do so much sculpting with this as well. I just do like simple projects, but you could really run with this if you're really, really that crafty and enjoy it. Okay, I think what I'm going to add is some more cement. Because I like the way this is feeling right now. Yep, I'm going to add a little bit more cement. And then I'll bring this bowl up. And then I'll move over so you guys can see me drape. Put that down here. And then I'll shift that over. Let's see if I can see some of you guys in here. Hey, family. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for joining in. Make sure you guys thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. It's so fun to see all you guys in here. I see you guys. Oh, yeah. This is looking. This is, this is feeling exactly like I want it. And don't be afraid to get dirty, you guys. Get dirty. <laughs> Have fun with it. Okay. And if it hardens, if it starts to get a little bit too thick to where you think it's not a it's not going to absorb into the fabric just add a little bit more water so don't panic when you see it gets a little bit thick because you want it to be thick cake mix brownie mix let me get you guys closer because i want you guys to see this and then i'm going to move this bag Oop. hold on you guys okay. that don't feel too bad right now I took a lot of the weight out. All right, you guys. So let's see. Y'all see how that's looking? Okay. Let me see if I go like this. Y'all see how that's looking? All right. I think y'all get the picture. Cake mix, brownie mix. That's the consistency you want to look for. Okay. So let's get our little gadgets out. Now, remember what I said. You can use 
pretty much anything. So what I'm gonna do is take these gloves off because I'm about to get in here. All right, family, so let's see. The first thing we're gonna start with, you guys, hold on. Let me get you guys back up here. All right. So the first thing we're gonna start with, you guys, is, I'm gonna back that up again. We're gonna start with my little shorts that I told you guys about that got ruined at the beach. <laughs> so, now this is how you can do your jeans, your jean shorts, or regular shorts. You can use these containers, empty containers. You can use Hawaiian punch bottles to use them as a mold. So what you wanna do is you're gonna soak up your pants like so. Remember what I said, if it doesn't adhere, you want it, you want your, your uh, towel, whatever you using to get soaked up in there. It's almost like you washing them, you washing them with cement. And see, this is already changing, so I can see that I'm going to have to add water eventually. Gonna sit this over here so you guys can see. And yeah, I can tell that it's gonna be needing some water for the next one. That's looking good it's looking like it's fully saturated so what I'm gonna do is come over here and it's gonna be like I'm putting my shorts on top or like I'm getting dressed <laughs> so you just take it like this push it down like so and then you just stand them straight up like this and then what you can do is drape them like this on top and then drape the other one over like that so once it dries you guys let me get over here so i can start moving them around so once it dries you guys you're going to be able to peel that back so what you could do is come over in the front of the um the shorts or the dream the jeans that you're using and kind of just dress it up like that. If you want to get like really creative, you can smooth it. You can kind of try to pleat it. And if you want to put a belt in it, like I did, I think I did little ties, little bow ties on my shorts, I think. And you want to smooth it out. But I do like the ruggedness of it. So you can see I'm trying to put some pleats in there and keep it draped like so. So like I said, run with it, you guys, play with it. And you can do the same thing with the back. And I think the first time I did it, I used um, Hawaiian the Hawaiian um, punch bottles. And I'm gonna add some more water because this is getting a little bit thick and I wanna be able to drape another pot. Don't be afraid to just add more water, you guys. And if, it, if it's too much water, just add some more um, cement. Don't be afraid. Mm 
and I got another pot that I'm going to show you guys another way to do it. Shit, it's getting hot out here, you guys. Let's see, what did I do with my, what's the name? I'm tripping over all this, these heavy bags. So I'm just going to add some more cement. And if you want to use your gloves, you want to use a mask, you want to use goggles, you can do that too, you guys. I'm going to add a little bit more because it's still a little bit loose. A little bit more. And I'm going to check in with you guys over there. Thank you for joining in. Alright, that, that's looking good. It's getting the way I want it. So also... If you can't find any empty containers, you can use something that you use in a bottle that you use. It may be a cooking oil bottle, and if there's something in it, just put a plastic bag over it to protect it. I have done that too, where I didn't have empty objects. So you can do that as well. Don't be afraid to just throw a plastic bag over it. And if you um, are really, really crafty, so this is my other container that I'm going to use, which is a regular old bucket. Here we go. And actually, it's a garbage can. All right, you guys? So that's my mold. And if you want, you can just put a plastic bag on top of it if you don't want to ruin it. Um, but I'm not because it's not going to get ruined. It's just a, a, a mold for me right now. And I'm using a dingy towel. Y'all probably say, that towel don't look dingy, Essie. <laughs> and I think towels are some of the best fabrics to use. The towels are really, really good, you guys. So, this is looking very tight. So, I'm going to add some more water to loosen it up. get it there we go remember what I say it's like you washing your clothes in cement all right you guys so All right, you guys. So, let's see. I think I'm. Y'all got. You guys are still with me. Oh, it's hard to see that. All right, you guys. So, I hope you guys got all of that. <laughs> My apologies. I could barely see into this screen, you guys, because of the um the the sun. But um, I think you guys got the idea on how to make you some Portland cement pots. And remember what I said, if you have to come in with the other leftover, you can use a paintbrush or you can use one of these spun, uh, spun brushes, but they don't really last that long. And you could just try to brush it up. I like mine to look um, kind of rugged. 
and I can't wait to see what this one is going to look like. See how I rolled up the side? This is going to look really cute. Oh. Hey, you guys. I'm just not having a good day with my life. <laughs> Let me come over here like this. All right, family. So, let's see. I think you guys can see. And get y'all get my drift. But, um, yeah, see how simple and fun it is? But they're going to look really nice once we paint them. And, again, whatever you have left over, find something to uh, to use as a mold and make another one because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find something. But I also have this. I think I'm going to use this over here, my Crisco can, because I did have that to make an extra one just in case I had too much uh, mixture. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, that'll give me four new flower pots, and um, I think I'll be good to go. <laughs> so, yeah, family, um, definitely send me a, a message to let me know you guys are still with me over there. And again, hey, 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 Dana, how are you? Okay, I think, yeah, I'm seeing you guys. All right. Juicy with Jay, thank you for joining me. All right, family. So I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed this um, video, this live video where I had so many problems. <laughs> I have to get, I have to get better with lives. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And make sure you guys thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Let's see. We have ten left in the live, and I want to say thank you all for tuning in. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys are inspired to make you some beautiful Portland cement pots. They're so much fun to make. And um, hopefully we will not get any rain. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Make sure that um, you pay attention to the forecast. So hopefully it don't rain. If it does, I'll use some giant um, construction black bags to cover them up. So that they can dry thoroughly so hopefully the rain won't come so make sure uh before you get started with your portland cement pots you check your weather i don't know this was just messy today <laughs> i think my first time it wasn't this messy but um it is a it is a messy um project uh but they like i said they are su super fun to make all right family so essie needs some lemonade and some ac right about now <laughs> all right family so thank you for tuning in thank you so much and i truly appreciate you guys continuing to take this journey with me i thank you all so very very much and thank you thank you oscar thank you thank you so much magic thank you so i will see you guys on the next video thank you for tuning in peace